I'm sure you're familiar with the man you're about to see. His name is Simon Algo, an ex-intelligence agent who recently seized control of the Balkan nation of Ugaria. It's widely believed that Algo's coup was the result of a brilliant disinformation campaign. A campaign that saw government officials jailed by the dozen for alleged ties to organized crime. Algo's network of spies is far-reaching and includes this man, Mikhail Marku, a veteran of the war in Bosnia and one of his most trusted advisors. This morning, we learned of Marku's desire to defect. In exchange for safe passage, he's agreed to provide us with a mini-disc cataloging Algo's worldwide covert operations which may include the theft of highly advanced weapons of mass destruction. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to make contact with Marku, obtain the mini-disc, and escort him safely from the grounds of the Ugarian Ministry of Information. As usual, you may pick your team as you see fit. At your disposal will be telemetry expert Luther Stickle, along with pilot and driver Billy Baird. Also joining you will be new agents Jasmine Curry and George Spelvin, Spelvin is a med school dropout turned actor whose deceptive skills are extraordinary. Curry graduated number one in her class at Quantico. She's raw, Ethan, but so were you once upon a time. I'm confident you'll make the grade. As always, should you or any member of your IM force be captured or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. Good luck, Ethan. This briefing will self-destruct in five seconds. Okay? I think so. There's Algo. He's landed on that skyscraper. That is the Surma building, his front company. He's got armed men all over that place. Then we better hit the ground running. Who are you? Ethan Hunt. I've been hired to escort you from Ugaria. Hired by whom? That's not important. What is important is that we get you out of here now. Why should I trust you? You'd rather take your chances with Berkut? Those men who've been trying to kidnap you. Those are his people, Sophia. I think your father may be alive. My father? But if we don't make a move, it may be you who ends up dead. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. You have my word on that. It's been a long time since anyone's made me such a promise. Are you sure you can live up to it? I always keep my promises. Let me be the first to congratulate you on a fine job destroying the biotoxins at Los Muertos. We have identified the woman who escaped in the helicopter as Sofia Ivanescu, a brilliant software engineer whose father is Nobel Prize winner Dr. Nicholas Ivanescu, shown here with his daughter in 1988. An outspoken critic of Ugaria's previous regime, even Eskew became a political prisoner in 1995 and is presumed dead. Your recovery of surveillance videotape from Los Muertos supports our belief that Sofia went to work for Simon Algo with the intention of avenging her father's death. There is little doubt at this point that Sofia Ivanescu is the architect of the technology used to steal the critical data from Los Muertos. It's also clear she was able to penetrate the IMF database, which led to your exposure at the Information Ministry. According to our sources, Sophia has returned to Ugaria. You must return as well, Ethan. Make contact with her and take her out of the country, alive. She is without question the key to stopping Simon Algo's deadly weapons research.
What's happening, Luther? Seems your activity in the bio lab has set off a general alarm. Whole damn place is going nuts. You got gunmen coming out of the woodwork, but that's not what worries me. It's not? Hold on. I'm routing some security footage to your remote camera viewer. What other possible explanation is there? I don't know, but I certainly would not sabotage my own work. That's our boy, Ethan. Who's the woman? Running data scan as we speak. Files have been deleted. Who else could have breached the computer core? That's a good question. And if you just let me get back to the core, maybe I could find out. You're under contract, aren't you? Who are you working for? CIA? MI5? Young Ho, I swear to you, I had nothing to do with this. No matches, Ethan. She's a Jane Doe. Are you sure? <laughs> Would I lie? Who are you working for? No one. I am doing this for my father. You know that. That's the problem with you capitalists. You claim you are compassionate people, that you care about others. But it's always about your wallets, isn't it? I have not deleted a single file from that computer. We'll let Algo be the judge of that. Gather your things. Meet me at the helipad. We're leaving immediately. Get in. It was unfortunate that the breach in our firewall prevented you from getting Mr. Marku out of Ugaria alive. Despite the setback, you are to be commended for your recovery of the minidisc. Among its most incriminating contents were several references to Los Muertos Laboratories, one of America's premier incubators of advanced military technology. Los Muertos has been under heavy scrutiny in recent months. It's widely believed that a nested foreign agent has been stealing high-level scientific data from the facility. How he's managed to override the complex mechanisms protecting the mainframe remains unknown. Though reports on the identity of this agent are varied, evidence strongly suggests it is this man. Yong Ho Lee, a cunning freelancer who's been associated with North Korean intelligence, the Chinese SAS, and Ugarian President Simon Algo. We need to know how this data is being stolen, Ethan, and destroy any and all files pertaining to top-secret weapons research. We can't have any more of this information falling into the wrong hands. And as for Yang Ho, well, I'll leave that to your discretion. Congratulations, Ethan, on your successful extraction of Sophia Ivanescu from Ugaria. Our work, however, is far from over. According to Sophia, Toxicology equipment from Los Muertos has been relocated to Sensara Prison. The prison is a highly fortified facility operated by Simon Algo and the head of his secret service, Basile Berkut, whom I believe you're already familiar with. Posing as representatives of the Hong Kong Triads, George Spelvin and Jasmine Curry will distract Berkut by attempting to negotiate the release of one of their associates. Their arrival should allow you to penetrate the complex undetected. Your mission is to breach the security of the biolab deep within the prison and destroy it. To accomplish this, you will need more than the considerable talents of Luther Stickle. You will need someone inside the facility, someone whose hacking skills rank among the foremost in the world. Fortunately, you have already recruited the perfect candidate. I trust that you will take good care of Miss Ivanescu and see that you return safely. Good luck, Ethan. Help you, Mr. Berkut. 
Dr. Ivanescu. Allow me to introduce myself. We got trouble, Ethan. Check out the AV on your micro monitor. Excuse me. We generally don't allow people to come and go as they please at Sansara. That's why they call it a prison. I'm sorry. There must be some misunderstanding. Mr. Berkut... Mr. Berkut is an imbecile. And you, I'm afraid, are a dead man. Not so fast, my dear. I am not quite through with you yet. It appears we have more uninvited guests among us. I'm going after him, Luther. No, you mustn't. You hear the base alarms? They'll enforce a lockdown of the entire prison. He's right, Ethan. You need to move now. Eastern Europe, wouldn't you say? Are you kidding? Where I grew up, all the water is brown. And that is just what comes out of the faucet. <laughs> You're pretty funny for a computer geek. Who are you calling a geek, mister? You are the one with all the gadgets. Ah, uh, but can I hack into any computer system in the entire world? I think not. I believe my love affair with technology is over. Then maybe it's time to start another. Perhaps it is.
Whoa, Billy, what in God's name are you waiting for? 